What is going on everybody, it's your boy Nothing With Skills and today we're gonna to be talking about which specialization is the best specialization for you. Now, there are two that pretty much are holding the top and the other two, it really just depends if you wanna run them or not because of their weapons, the specialization weapons that they come with. But if we go off of talents alone, talents alone, we will be able to decide which one is the best. And maybe if you're running a particular weapon, that will decide which one is better for you. So if we head over to the specialization table, you're gonna see we have Gunner, Demolitionist, Survivalist, Sharpshooter. Now these are all really good specializations and they all have their own go-to specialization weapon. Now, Gunner is our most recent specialization that we just got and it's holding down as one of the best specialization in the game. So let's take a closer look at Gunner and why it's become one of the best specializations in the game. First off, it comes with a really cool looking specialization weapon, the minigun. Some might call it overkill. I just think it's adapting the circumstance. So let's take a look at the talents and see why this specialization to me is the best specialization in the game so first off right off the bat if you run an LMG they offer the large pouch so the large pouch is going to give you 50 rounds I'm gonna show you this real quick on my LMG that I have currently on this build and we take a look at the slot for it we're gonna load it up and right there the large pouch plus 50 rounds prior to this the large pouch only had 35 rounds, but you can use it with any specialization you want. That's the good thing about it. But if you are gonna run gunner, it gives you plus 50 rounds. So that's an extra 15 rounds off of the large pouch that you get from daily and weeklies. Now, just like any specialization, you can select up to three weapons. Right now I have the LMG, the assault rifle, and then the marksman rifle. So I have those three selected, and that's with every specialization. So that's nothing better on this specialization versus the other specializations. But let's take a look at the talents. The first talent we're gonna look at, look at this one. Kills grant 10% armor on kill. So if you pair this up with a really good build that has some armor on kill, just look at this clip right here. Well, I'm getting shot, I let them shoot me. I get one kill, two kills. Look how fast I had full armor off of two kills. That's why this talent on this specialization is probably one of my favorite because if you pair it up with the right build, you can have a build that consistently heals itself without having to even drop your chem launcher. But the talents just get better from there. So we take a look at the next talent and this one gives you, look, every third reload is 50% faster. Now with the LMG, when you're running that exotic holster that you just have to swap to your pistol and back, that you really don't benefit from that. But on an AR build where you're more likely just gonna be reloading versus swapping back to your pistol because reloading isn't that, because reloading doesn't take that long on an AR, this is actually really good because every third reload is 50% faster. And if you look at the difference between the regular reload that I just did right there and the reload you're gonna see right now, look how fast that reload is compared to the reload you just saw. I feel like that talent excels the best on the AR build since most of the time you're not gonna run that exotic holster that you run on the LMGs. But look at the next talent, hardened armor kits. Armor kits repair 100% armor and grant 50% bonus armor for 10 seconds. Now there's no armor kit in the game right now that is this good. This is great for PVE and PVP. And it's just pretty crazy how this works. Once you pop your med kit, you're gonna see a full blue stack. And that full blue stack is going to be the extra 50% of your armor, right? So you'll have your armor plus the extra 50% until the enemies kill it. Now if you use another med kit, there's no amount of times you can't use it. So you get your armor plus your 50% of your armor. And the crazy thing about this, this last 10 seconds, just look how long it lasts. 10 seconds is a long time in the game. So once it's over, it does disappear. And if you noticed, we've only gone over three abilities on this ability tree and it's already getting really good. So let's take out the next three abilities that I think you guys are gonna be really impressed with no matter what build you run. So another one I really like is supply line generate 10% of your total armor capacity. Every 60 seconds, party members recover 5%. So if you have 800 ammo capacity, you generate 10% of that and your party members will generate 5% of that. The next talent is a um, juicy one, Barrage. Rate of fire increases by 5% on kill for five seconds. So if you're using an LMG, you get that kill, 
your rate of fire is going to go up by 5%. The same with ARs, SMGs. This talent right here is probably one of my favorite talents. And to have almost five abilities already we just talked about be this good, it's pretty impressive. And the final one, emplacement. 20% weapon handling while not moving. Need to be motionless for one second. And that one second is instantly. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at this clip. Look, when I jump into cover, which you don't have to be in the cover, look how fast the symbol pops up. It's almost instantly. I don't even think it's really one second. Now, like I said, you don't have to be in cover. Just watch this clip right here. I'm going to stop moving. The little symbol pops up. And look at the difference between the weapon handling. Just amazing. And that's why I say this specialization tree is stacked with so many talents that it's really hard to say that there's another specialization out there that is that much better. And we're not done yet. The specialization tree for Gunner gives you a P320X compact, which comes with two really good talents, an equipped talent and a holster talent. Now, the protective reload while equipped, that means that it just has to be in your holster. You do not have to be holding it. Equipped means on your gear, you get protective reload while equipped. This weapon gives you 10% bonus armor while reloading, and then it also has greased while holster. Weapon swap speed is increased by 10%. So you have two active talents just by putting this pistol on. Protective Reload I really like when I'm running any type of AR build. And then of course Grease anytime I just want to have something that helps me swap between pistol to LMG to AR. I love running that. So just taking a look at those six main abilities. We're not even talking about the large pouch that you can get for the LMG. This ability tree right here, this gunner tree I think is the number one specialization in the game right now. But if you are using a rifle or a marksman rifle, of course, you might want to take a look at sharpshooter. And that's probably going to be the one you're using. And the fact is, sharpshooter still gives you 25% increased headshot damage with rifles and marksman rifles. And since you are hitting a lot of headshots with rifles and marksman rifles, that's probably what you're using. Not only that, you have breath control, 30% increased weapon stability, reduced recoil, and faster reacquisition of targets. So just these two talents alone right here are the reason why people are still running sharpshooter over running gunner. And not only that, there is one other talent called sharpshooter tactical, and that is all of your group members that are closer to you get 10% headshot damage. They will get a benefit of you running this build. So really for three talents, I mean the 25% headshot damage is really good. The breath control of 30% stability and the reacquisition of targets is really good. The tactical link is pretty good. But think about it. Think about it. On Gunner, you are getting almost six abilities, plus you get a really good pistol and you get that large pouch. So if you want to run your secondary as an LMG, you can. That is just something you guys have to think about. But I agree. If you are running a rifle, marksman rifle, sharpshooter is the way to go. If you're running anything else, you better be specking into Gunner because Gunner overall is the way to go it's the best specialization in the game right now it brings so much heat with this specialization that i don't know how a lot of you guys wouldn't be using it already let me know what you guys think which one is your favorite specialization make sure you hit a thumbs up if you found this video useful as always guys until the next video nothing but skills out